Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, it's about money, services, camp, boom, this is so can. Oh, my laptop's over there. <laughs> How am I going to do this? Uh, I'm, I'm less prepared than I thought. I'm like, I'm ready. Let's turn the camera on. Let's push the button. Let's make it happen. Oh, wait. How am I going to operate the system? Hang on. Please hold while I move the laptop. I guess I can put it on my lap. It is a laptop after all. Hang on. The screen is going to go off. But it's okay. This is just reveals how antique my shit is. My laptop is so old that the screen is just black. And uh, a lot of things sometimes don't work, like, because, like, apps and things. Apps were invented after my laptop. <laughs> like, apps didn't exist before. Hey, you know what? I bet I'm, like, way down at the bottom of the screen, huh? I could move it down a bit. All right. We can get a little bit closer. Come a little bit closer, baby. Get a little bit closer to me. Get a little bit closer. Thank you, everybody, for all your comments and likes. Pushing the like button. And I'd like to not ask for likes, if that makes sense. You won't hear me very often saying, please push the like button. Smash the like button, however you want to say it. You're still begging for, you know, promotion. I feel like if you want to promote my stuff and share it, do so. If you just want to like it and save it in your liked list, do so. If you don't really like it, then don't push the button. I'm not going to tell you what to do. <laughs> anyway, uh, the point is, I'm very thankful for all your comments. We're in the play all playlist right now. This is down in the link in the in the doobly doo. It's always at the top, and they're all numbered. So every Sebcam video has a number at the end. That's the hashtag two hundred, I guess. This video will probably be hashtag 200. 200 videos! Woo! Let's celebrate! We made 200 videos. What do we do uh, to celebrate? We do the same thing we do every day, Pinky. We try to take over the world! <laughs> I don't do anything different. Uh, so, the I Got a Real Job, I think mainly thanks to Kenny, uh, got popular, or maybe it's thank well, it is all thanks to Kenny, because Kenny was the one wise enough, aware enough, clued in enough, smart enough, familiar enough with the Sebcam concept to push the button and turn the camera on at a time when I wouldn't have really turned it on. And because it was already rolling, I felt like, okay, I should explain what's going on. So I, I see what you did there, buddy. I like what you did there. And so that moment was captured. And I think everyone appreciates the kind of the realism and uh, the reality of the roller coaster that is Sebcam, the emotional uh, ride. So let's just click on that and see that I haven't missed any comments from the video. Uh, I have to read sideways. I mentioned about like the hard day's work, never something to be ashamed of. Yeah, we've done that. Okay, we've so we've answered that. I've decided now that I don't want to spend time typing in the comments because it's just too uh, cumbersome, and it's not. It's not the typing that's the problem, well it kind of is, it's slow. It's for me, it's a bit too slow, a form of communication for what I'm used to. But 
I'm not as efficient, not as effective as if I'm speaking. Imagine like, oh, good morning, what's up, my name is Ken Boom. Uh, I prefer to use my voice, my vocal cords, which we've been blessed with for a good reason, to express myself. And would you rather have me type some comment that you have to kind of read and try and interpret what does he mean by that? You know, how, you know, when people type like text, tes texts get misinterpreted so much. Uh, I would prefer not to do that. So I, I'll reply to you by video is what I'm saying. Like, would you rather get a text or a video? Of course you'd rather get a video. So let me go through it. Joseph O'Hara. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Um, I love this. Actually, he got so many thumbs up. Uh, for saying his truth in, in great detail. It's a lot like my laptop with the, the power cable is taped in because the Mac has the whole magnetic power cable thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm scared to even show you because the battery is missing <laughs> and the screen doesn't work and it's hanging off right i tried to fix the screen myself i got a screwdriver in there and i started pulling this off and i realized i didn't know what i was doing and someone was like well for 50 quid you could fix your screen i'm like for 50 quid i can buy a screen so that's what i did <laughs> And it's way more fun. It's transformed my life, actually, because I sit back in my bed. I feel like, you know, king of the castle. And I'm like, hey, look at me. I can, and it's more comfortable, too, because I can type and put the keys where I want. You know, so I'm not, like, leaning forwards or whatever. And for my view, like this, I'm not having to be hunched over, looking at the screen, limited by... Okay limited by the screen positioning. So it's better for my neck, is what I'm saying. I'm able to look at the screen, not straining, not bending my neck, not putting myself in a weird position. Anyway, this isn't a video about posture. <laughs> Get to the point. What I like about Joe's comment is he goes into great detail. My van is 14 years old with one working headlight <laughs> and a broken handbrake. I also have to work three shifts a week. That's a lot. To look after my family and keep a roof over our head and food on the table. And in my eyes, you'll always be a cool health guy. Said it before, you're tailor-made for a retreat role. I want to respond to that in detail, actually, because I am going to do a Seb Cam Truth in the Park coming soon. I don't see any reason to wait. Let's do it in May. What are we in now? April, May, end of May, maybe June. It'll be soon. It'll be this spring time. It won't be summer. It'll be spring. So it's going to be soon. Let me know down in the comments. Tell me dates that you guys absolutely could not come and hang out with Seb Cam for the weekend. Tell me the dates you can't do it. Like, I'd love to come and see you, Seb, but these are the times that I cannot. Because if I know when you cannot, then clearly I know by the, you know, the opposite negative that I know the dates you are available. More complicated if you try and tell me all the times that you're available. Just tell me when, you, when you're not available. Like, there's no way I could do the first week of May or something. Cool. I'll avoid that week because I want you to be there. But I'm guessing it'll be the very, very end of May into June. What's your availability around then? Everybody. I'm not just talking to Joe. Like, everybody. And where will it be? I think it will be down in the southwest, down where I live. We'll go to the park. Literally, you can come and visit my park that you see on the videos. It's cool for me. It's cool for you. You can see the scenario. You can visit... And, and be part of you can be in the video don't be just the people who live inside the camera be the people who live inside the video <laughs> so yeah the people who live inside the camera you're going to make it onto the video 
nearest airport is Bristol. For those who are flying, um, or nearest city is Bristol. Whenever you decide there will be audience for you. See, that's a good point. I'm like, yeah, I'm a, I go through all this, like, should I do this? Should I do that? How am I going to uh, deliver the content? Like, I've got the content. It's all here. It's all ready. It's all done. But how am I going to upload it? What will I do? I'm always thinking about the audience. Will they watch? Will they not watch? The reality is, it's a very simple statement, but whatever you decide, there will be audience for you. Looking forward to you getting the recognition you deserve, right? So they're also a supportive audience. Uh, your individual insights I've not come across from many others, certainly not in one channel. I actually, I love this summary because I don't see it as myself. I don't see myself with this big list. I suppose I know I do these things, but I... I haven't written a list. <laughs> free running, fitness, veganism, free man, as in free man on the land theory. Not really a theory, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a fact. Zeitgeist films, truthing, sun gazing, grounding, fruitarianism, minimalism. The list goes on. It's like, yeah, wow, that's a cool list. I should, I could make a video on each of those things. I should write that down. Make a video on talking about free running, make a video talking about veganism, make a you know, talking about how I got into it. I'll write it down, write it down quick. Before you forget, ah, I'm looking like, oh, the screen. Oh no, oh, don't panic. Can you see the screen? Hang on, I'm gonna stand up. Whoop. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, good. Just making sure. Sometimes the brightness is a bit crazy. You see all my stickers here? I got stickers, things to do. Uh, that's how I get stuff done is I stick it to the keys of my laptop so I absolutely can't miss it. Right. My face is itchy. I got an itchy face. Uh, I just didn't want you to think I was lying about anything like touch itching my nose. I got an itchy face right now. Like I really, I really genuinely do have an itchy face. It's gone now. Okay. Videos to podcast, I guess. It's a podcast chat, but it's a chat just with myself. There wouldn't be a, there's no guest. The guestless podcast. I'm going to talk about free running, fitness. These are different subjects. V Games, <laughs> Freeman. Thank you, Connor, for the list. I actually put this shirt on on purpose, knowing that you guys really are my team. We are the team. True thing. Sun gazing. Uh, what I mean is, you guys all know I'm hiring a, a team. Grounding, earthing, and I'm paying them. However, you guys who I'm not paying, or at least not on like an hourly wage, I like to pay you back in ways I can. So I'm sending Connor a hoodie today. Hoodie! Hood up! And a lot of you others will also get little treats and surprises too. So don't feel left out. Feel happy for Connor. Feel happy that Connor got a cool hoodie. And also feel a happy expectation for yourself that you've got cool things coming. Like, it's important when you give that you expect to receive. I wanted to put the little uh, videos up where I was giving gifts um, because... It's important to like, they've not even left yet. I just wanted to give it to them because I can't, I couldn't hold the surprise anymore. I'm like, I got you something, I got you a surprise here. <laughs> it's like, ah, you know, I, I don't want to wait. Like, I, I'm, I'm not I'm bad at surprises. So <laughs> the point is, I don't give with an expectation of return from the same person. It's not like, I'm going to give you this so that you give me that. That's a trade. That's an exchange. That's not a gift. That's not 
benefiting your karma to expect a trade. It's just a, a swap. It's a, I might as well have buy something and, you know, or like Connor buys the hoodie and I ship him the hoodie. On a side note, got some CBD, so that's good. Uh, available now, I need to buy the labels. I need to get more labels printed. <laughs> anyway, the point I'm making is, there's nothing wrong with expecting something in return, like, no, bestow on me almighty goodness and brilliant karma, uh, you know, I've done good stuff, so I'm expecting good stuff back. That's a good thing. I should be doing that. Like, it's not selfish or it's not manipulative to expect good things from the universe. You see what I'm saying? I hope I've explained that well. I'll probably go into more detail at another time. But this is kind of a quick q and A. I I guess really this is what this is. I guess I don't know the name of the video when I push the button, but it's becoming a kind of a Q&A. So also leave me more Q&A questions down in the comments down below, and I might not reply in text, but I will reply in video. So stay tuned for your answers and to see your name in lights. Uh, so thank you for the list. What else have I been doing? The list goes on. There's so much to share and the biggest audience is on YouTube. Right, that's the thing. YouTube is where everybody is in terms of watching video. I'm a video maker. That's what it comes down to. <laughs> I love, I should make, remake my business card. Uh, I will do that too. Write that one down. <laughs> it's just a, a note writing session. I suppose I always said I'll show you me in the office. This is how I work. Um, it's going to be an OnlyFans business card. Biz card. Telephone, email, website. And then it will say, I make videos. That's the best summary I can give. I make videos. <laughs> like, on so many business cards, I've had different uh, descriptions of what I do. A bit like Kenny, you know, with his enjoy life catchphrase. And now it's a shirt. Uh, the process of whittling down and simplifying, distilling, that's a good word, reducing. You get to the most basic components, the, the elements, uh, like on a periodic table. You're getting to the ingredients of what it really is. And that's what it really is. Said Cam, I make videos. <laughs> I can't remember what I was even talking about. Where, what were we saying? Oh, the biggest audience is on YouTube. And I make videos, so I'm going to always be on YouTube. If you can find a paying audience on OnlyFans or on other platforms, go for it. Well, I'm not going to find the audience. I'm going to put my shit up and you can all find me. I'm not going to go out there begging. I'm just going to make a... It's going to be free anyway. <laughs> so we don't even need to talk about the paying bit. Everyone gets a little bit caught up with like, oh, well, I don't know about that. I won't, I won't be subscribing to your thing, but that's cool that you're, you know, um, good luck with that kind of attitude. It's like, no, it'll be free. For quite some time so let's not even worry about the paying part yet that's not the issue the issue is the being deleted all the time the issue is being having my creativity squished into a mold which i don't fit which is basically like children's entertainment <laughs> it's like a, youtube is becoming just purely a family friendly children's TV show like it might as well be like just only available on Saturday mornings or something it's uh, it's restricting a lot of creators and a lot of people are, as the audience are beginning to like complain and see that like hey this content isn't really as cool as it could be 
but it's safe for advertising, it's safe for generating more money. It's always about the money. It always comes down to the money. Money, money, money. If you follow the money, you'll find at the end of the trail the, the source of the problem. So if we look at YouTube and we see it, it's not, I don't take it personally. I used to. I used to think that there was like a mean man behind the YouTube is behind there somewhere being mean to me and sending me messages saying you've been demonetized your account has been suspended and I was like why are you being so mean to me and now I realize it's just a algorithm it's just a technology it's just a method a system a business a money maker and the way the YouTube money maker works is you put videos in, you get audiences in, they find each other, and the goal is that the audience watch the videos. And the more eyes on the videos, the more minutes, the more minutes, the more we can advertise to them, the more money we can make, because the more we can sell the advertising to the advertisers. It's a money making machine. So I don't take it personally anymore. I'm like, you know what? I get it now. I understand more about money than I ever have. I'm actually beginning to be like, I love money. I get money. I understand money. Money is energy. I've got lots of energy. Why shouldn't I have lots of money? Like, that makes sense. I need to shift my ambivalence <laughs> towards money, my attitude. I've made a video, you know, in the Spain days. We'll find it. We'll dig it out. I said, I've got to soften my attitude against money be like rejecting it like it's a bad thing anyway where were we cbd t-shirts well-priced cbd he mentioned that good point yeah keeping the prices down also oh yeah if you want this stuff it's all down below in the links down below sebcam.tv you can go and have a look also events yeah speaking at events and retreats mention that would work for you rome wasn't built in a day that's a good point i think i'm quite impatient a kind of uh, always moving at a high velocity and I'm just like let's do it now let's get this uh, do that and succeed in this and the idea and the enthusiasm and the momentum is so great that if I don't see any fruit anytime soon from the seed that I planted I'm like move on let's plant another seed so I'm a more of a seed planter and an idea creator and a visionary than I am the person who sees it through to the end. <laughs> I might just kind of like start a bunch of stuff and then hopefully it will, you know, some of it will grow into a fruitful plant, tree, a fruitful venture. You shall know them by their fruits. I'm sure there are some knowledgeable people like Jack in the comments who have some insights too. <laughs> That's cool. So you're like making friends and then Jack is right there making the comment. That's very cool. I like that. How it's like a forum of uh, conversation. Wow, this is a proper big one. Look at this. Thanks, Jack. Thank you for, I'm like, I'm, when I see these things, I never think, oh no, I have to read all this. I'm genuinely intrigued to see what you say because it's like feedback. It's, um what better information to gather than the information from your actual audience. I'm not out there. Notice I'm not trying to like, let's make it to 200 subscribers. Let's make it to a thousand subscribers. Okay, guys, let's share the video to your grandma and send it to your friends and tell your aunties, uncles, dogs, goldfish about it because I'm not, desperately recruiting new subscribers. Why? Because I care more about subscribers I've already got. I think the team that we've already got here is amazing. Let's cultivate and grow the team. It's more important than getting like new people in who don't even know me or don't know what's going on. Right? So maybe over the years, this like deleting and shedding of skins has distilled and reduced the Sebcam 
uh, audience down to those who really mean it. Like if you're still here, then you somehow managed to always find me through the years. And so that's more meaningful than anything. And I'd rather put my focus and my time and my energy into you guys. So it can be a more meaningful relationship. It's, it's much more important than going to recruit more people to come and watch who I've already said this, don't really know what's going on. Okay. As you once famously said, just keep pushing the button. I push the button now and that's how we're making a video. I push the button. That's all I did. And then I sat down and I wasn't really ready, but I just made it happen. I know once I push the button, I'm going to capture some kind of moment, you know, and I pretty much, I post all of them. I've, I've kind of made that a rule now where I'm like, just post it, you know, even if it's what I consider like maybe not the most, uh, what's the word? It might not be my best self, or it might not be the best moment, or it might not be what I would like to show you, like this kind of polished, perfect version of Seb, uh, <laughs> keeping like a false mask of like, everything's okay. It's like, no, sometimes I think it's good to show the, the harsh reality of a wobbly, unedited video that was sort of almost like an accidental button push that most people wouldn't share publicly. That's what I'm trying to say. But I see it differently because I see it like a Truman show and I should be sharing everything, no matter what the situation. Let's, the show must go on. <laughs> Let's share it, right? Let's do it. So yeah, push the button. I personally don't think a move to OnlyFans would be a good move. Never chase the money. There's no shame in working a job to fund your YouTube channel. Literally every YouTuber has to do it at one stage. I still do. Right. I suppose I'm not chasing the money. I'm just using the platform to begin with free. And then later in some months to come, it will be a paid service. However, it's well, obviously it's optional. I was going to say it's optional, but what I mean is, it will be optional to get additional extra bonus footage on OnlyFans and more like instructional content like working out and recipes and like the informational stuff. The unseen bonus, like I just said, like a DVD where you get the DVD and you got two discs. Oh, that was a bad example. <laughs> Is there two discs in there? No. <laughs> anyway, you get my point. You get the bonus footage when you go to OnlyFans. If you're only here in YouTube, you're only getting these kind of live updates. That's all. So good advice. I'm not chasing the money. I, I learned that in Spain. I learned that when I went there and I really was chasing the money and didn't make any, that I was trying so hard to chase the money that I ended up in a worse position than I was when I had no money, if that makes sense. We'll talk about it in more detail sometime. The time will come. Sure, you've been doing it for a long time, but it's difficult reading this sideways. Can I turn the screen a little bit more? I'm having to read it like, you know, when you see a screen from the side, <laughs> it's like, I can't see it. You've been doing it for a long time, but you never know when that one video will take off and change your life. Yeah, YouTube is a lot of a kind of lottery of viral videos. You know, you put out 100 videos, nothing happens. You put out 200 videos, nothing happens. You put out 1,000 videos and suddenly, randomly, one of them that you weren't even expecting to be a particularly, like, you didn't know when you named that title. Whatever I can think of right now is the title. Index number 541. That that would become like... <laughs> you know, be shared and go to millions of views. I've had that happen in the past. Um, <laughs> and then it's been demonetized. It gets popular, then it gets demonetized. And it's like, oh, thanks for that. In my opinion, you need to fire your experts. Oh, wow, fire the experts. Sure, they free up a lot of your time, but at what cost to your channel? No cost to the channel, really. If anything, it's benefiting the channel because I'm able to make more videos creatively in my creative space. I can think I can just make this video and I can just post it. 
and I'll let them, let the experts do the keywords and all that. So it's benefiting the channel to have the experts. The titles, the thumbnails of your videos are not something that an expert would choose to use. I don't believe they're experts. The titles and thumbnails of your videos are not something an expert would choose to use. Oh, right. Well, I don't know. Uh, well, I do know, actually. I do know. They've got a lot of uh, good feedback. They've got a lot of history of doing YouTube expertise. They've grown other channels. They've helped other channels. I don't think you can actually judge a channel or an expert by their thumbnails. <laughs> because this is what I've learned in, in the process of doing it. If I think this is a good thumbnail and you think that is a good thumbnail and Kenny thinks that's a good thumbnail, these are just differing opinions. It's not really a fine art of, uh, it's not that important. The title is important. The tags are important because that's where the metadata goes in there and the search and all that stuff. And the tags, you guys don't really see unless you're using a different kind of software. The title you see, the title written down below, that's me thinking it up. I could do with some, you know, uh, assistance sometimes in that I can't think up anything better, but the experts, the experts, they uh, often leave the title to me because I'm better at English than them. <laughs> That's, I'm like, how can I explain this in, in the nicest possible way? It's true. They are not necessarily native in English speakers. So if I hire an expert that's English, like really good English, they'll be way more expensive. They'll be like $20 a video. So that's not, that's ridiculous. Uh, right. If you really want to grow your channel, you need to be on the current trends. Need, capital letters. Make a video talking about how a lot of vegans are turning back to meat and animal product. Oh, God. Talk about the drama within the vegan community. No. Immediately, my I was like, oh, not this. Talk about the drama. Go and have a gossip. No. Rather not. Rather be unpopular than be a gossip. Like, it's not, not my style. I just, it doesn't inspire me to talk shit about everyone else. Or to talk positive. You know what I am going to do one day is I'm going to make positive instructional videos to help these other people. And I'll do like, this is what Seb would do. Here's my advice to you. Here's what you should do. And I'll review a channel. And they're not just the vegan people, just people that I respect and admire and watch myself. So I'll make a video about them coming soon. And maybe we do it in this format where you can see the screen. I hope you can see the screen. I tried to adjust the brightness. I've got buttons here, but I didn't know what, if I was pushing the wrong button. Yeah, I don't, I'm scared to push a button. It goes wrong. Um, oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I will kind of do what you're saying, but it's certainly not a need. I avoid using the word need. Whenever someone tells you you need to do something, that's a very uh, strong, manipulative kind of suggestion. It's, it's telling you like, you must, you need. No, I don't need to. I'm sure there are people who are able and capable and successful without having to do that. It's... It's a way, it's a option, it's not a need. Need is like water, need is sleep, need is, is warmth, clothing, shelter. Beyond that, we don't need to use the word need. Uh, maybe if you really want to grow your channel, I suggest, I recommend, you be on the current trends and talk gossip and talk shit about the vegan YouTube community and why people are turning back to meat products. I don't really want to discuss that because I don't believe it's a thing. <laughs> like, 
hundreds of thousands of millions of billions of people are all turning to eating loads of plants. Why don't we talk about that? I don't want to talk about the few people who are eating dead bodies. Like, why talk about the problem when you could talk about the solution? Viral video ideas for you. All right, how to get food for free. Yeah, I had that one written down already, actually. That's interesting. That's coming soon. Thumbnail of yourself outside the front of a supermarket holding a bunch of food you just forage from the bins. Make the video exciting and informative. Boom. The next thing you know, you're on the YouTube trending page. I suppose that makes a little more effort <laughs> to make it fun and informative and editing and showing up outside the supermarket and they can expose it. Like the production value goes up. So the time goes up. So it takes days or weeks, maybe even months to make the video. Whereas this, I just push the button and it's on. And it's like, I'm free to do my thing and just uh, talk to you guys. This is sustainable. This video style, this lifestyle is sustainable. The edited format, not so much, but they're different approaches. Hang on, I wanna check the time. Oh, we're nearly out of time. I knew that would be. I kind of sense when we're nearly out of time. So I'll finish this comment and then I'll have to make a new one because I haven't got through hardly any of them. Uh, next video title. Living vegan on two pounds a day. Yeah, I've seen some of these. Living on a pound a day, living on a two pound a day, doing all that. Right. Thumbnail of yourself holding two pounds in one hand, bananas in the other hand. You could even link this video up to the video I just talked about earlier and tie them together. I have so many ideas for you to gain popularity if that's what you really want. Send me a message on Instagram or Facebook if you want to talk more. I would love to talk more. Uh, I don't know how to find you on Instagram or Facebook. Um, so I'm not really, I don't do messages on Instagram or Facebook. Well, I kind of do. What's the best way to contact me? Send your number. Everything I do is through WhatsApp. So people who I consider part of the team, people like Connor, people like Jack, people like Nick, people like Blair, people like Vicky, people like Kenny, you should all have my number. I mean, we can just talk directly on the phone. It's a lot more fast, instant communication. If I go into Facebook or into Instagram, it's too distracting. I get all these messages and I can't see you. I can't, for the trees. I can't see the wood for the trees, you know? Like I can't, it's difficult. So everything that I do on this wall back here, it's all through Instagram. All of my people on the team are through Instagram. Uh, not through Instagram, what am I talking about? Through, uh, get my words mixed up, through WhatsApp. Look, all these people here, they are all WhatsApp people. So how's about this? Write your number in my Instagram messages and it will get to me because that will be passed through from my Instagram team. And they're awesome. They are really awesome. So that's it for now. That's my name said, this is the cam. Boom. And we'll just literally go straight to another video, part two. Okay, peace out. Peace on the streets. Sun.